The next Journal Club paper is in the works. It turns out to be um, a little bit more involved with the paper than I thought it was. So it's going to take a little time for me to read through it, but I promise that is in the pipeline and will come soon. Um, what I want to do right now is um, bare my soul a little bit and be very honest and show you the kind of process I go through when I'm dealing with something emotionally difficult. So in my case, what's hard for me is if I have, I'll just get to the point, if I have feelings for someone and it's unrequited, then it hurts. And yes, this makes sense. Everyone feels this, you know, I'm, I'm not, um, I'm not saying my problem is any worse than anyone else's. Um, for whatever reason, though, it, it's something that affects me um, extremely and for a very long time. So after I broke up, after my first girlfriend way back in high school, I was 16 or 17, we broke up. We had dated for a year and a half, and it took me years to get over that relationship. And it was incredibly painful when I found out that she was dating someone new after two months. And for some reason that um, I felt like I was going insane and... Um, for years, I was in a state where I, I would have been, this is very dramatic, I know, but um, I, I was in a state where I would have been happy with like some kind of accidental death on my part. If I died accidentally, it would have been like, oh, well, that kind of solves my problems. Um, and I say this because just to give you an idea of why I find my brain so frustrating and what it struggles with, and it's this emotional component. I have a very weak ability to, that's a critical word, but, um, you know, my ability to regulate those kinds of emotions um, related to attachment is, is not, for whatever reason, it's not quite there. And it probably has to do with the fact that my mother was not a very good mother. Um, there was a lot of spurning. She didn't, um, she just, for all intents and purposes, she didn't like me. And then she disappeared. So that's going to lead to some problems um, down the road, which manifests just as I explained. Um, what's been happening over the past few weeks, for reasons I didn't quite understand until today, is that I'd been getting um, high and I'd been drinking more than I've, I felt comfortable. Um, but I did it because I, you know, it's a weekend, I have time, I can, I can afford to to do this a little bit um, and to this weekend I decided not to do not to get higher and I drank a little bit on uh, on Friday but you know it wasn't a whole lot and all of today I've kind of faced what emotions I'd feel while not on drugs so I'm you know these weekends I'm, I'm completely alone um, usually my social time is at, at my gym. Um, it's a very social environment and for a short time I get to talk to people. Um, I'm also teaching and I get to talk to students during office hours during the week, but on the weekends I'm completely alone. Recently I spoke to someone, to, actually today I spoke to someone that I was very much in love with back in grad school and Unfortunately, for some reason, that, that feeling never went away. Um, and I cut contact because a therapist at the time convinced me that maybe this is um, an abusive relationship. And in hindsight, I don't think it was at all. Um, and well, so we've been speaking on and off over the phone or through Skype over the past year. And the medication has helped a lot in terms of regulating my emotions related to this whole thing related to, to this person and today um, I don't want to get into the details obviously partially because it's you know I don't want to bore you and the other thing is it's you know there's I want to keep some things private um, but very uh, seemingly minor thing um, but caused this emotional kind of dread um, absolutely exhausting um, 
And even prior to today, I guess I was worried about talking to her or something. And yesterday it took, I just kind of knocked out for like three hours. Um, and it was almost a similar story today, but I forced myself to wake up after about 30, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. So I'm now in this point where I'm feeling isolated, and this is exactly how I used to feel as a grad student. There was a good stretch of about a year or so where I was so isolated. Um, I felt like the people around me didn't, didn't, um, you know, I was trying to be a good friend and the people around me weren't reciprocating or not even recognizing that. Um, some even try to take advantage of it, which was very frustrating um, in hindsight. But anyways, the point is I'm, I'm back in a very dark place. Um, it's unclear how much the medication will help. Um, but this is, this is how I deal with it. Um, just kind of weather the storm, so to speak. Um, it's very uncomfortable. It lasts for days and days. Um, there's also a chance I may have forgotten to take my antidepressants today. And for some reason, if I skip a day, it tends to affect me immediately. Um, it, it normally shouldn't, but maybe it's a placebo thing. I don't know. Um, but that might be another contributing factor. So... All of that is to just explain that I'm in this very uncomfortable position where I'm, I'm choosing to face it and, and not taking anything um, besides my prescribed medication to just push through it. Um, I'm going to be as kind to myself as I can be. Um, and that's it's actually making me feel very emotional because... For a long time, I didn't realize that was an option, but it is. And when there are difficult things emotionally, it doesn't have to be any harder than it actually is, right? So I'm going to accept myself that this is, this is who I am, and it's hard to deal with. And... Of course, I wish that I was better about emotions, but um, the you know the reality is that that I'm not. This is these are the the um, this is the hand that I've been given. Back then, I used to wonder why I was so weak and I wish that I could be stronger. And I'm, I'm sure many of you have been frustrated with yourselves to the extent that maybe you even wonder the same about yourself. And what I've learned through this whole process of just growing up is that things like this, like crying, feeling emotions and expressing them that's not weakness you know is it really weakness if someone cries but still continues to push and confront their problems you know as hard as it might be is it is it really weakness to feel these emotions and process them as genuinely as possible. Is it is it weakness to to have no you know feel like you've t gotten the wind taken out of you one day and just feel like you can't exist or you don't want to and and think about how much easier it would be if you didn't exist. But then get up the next day and keep pushing forward.
Is it weakness to cry in front of people and be as be a genuine person? <sighs> yeah. So I, I don't subscribe to this idea that crying is is weakness. Um, it's the actions and and how you respond to 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 setbacks to trials that matter. Do you get back up again and keep pushing forward? That is strength. The hard thing about all of this is that I know that I will have to deal with this tomorrow and the day after and the day after and I don't know when it'll end. Um, I don't know if I could escape it either because I tried not talking to this person for four years and it was difficult because things were left unresolved. I made way too hasty of a decision to walk away um, and I talked to that, talked to the, this person about that but things are actually still unresolved and in a way that's completely ambiguous um, for me personally I can handle I can handle waiting if there's some kind of known endpoint it can be a very long time but I've learned to managed to do that over, over a long time. But what I still struggle with is when there's an unknown waiting period. That is really hard for me. Um, something about needing to just, I don't know. I don't know why it's so much harder than waiting, knowing that there is an end. Another thing that doesn't help is that, just like I mentioned before, this isolation, when I talk to people, I get a sense of where my mood is, um, how, how I'm doing emotionally, if I'm tired or not. And over a weekend, if I don't talk to anyone, that I just don't get a sense of where I am at all. And so this, this medium is actually incredibly helpful for me. And I already feel a lot better having put my words out there and verbalized all of this and expressed emotion. So I really do appreciate you listening and watching. I have the, the greatest subscribers in the world. Um, yeah. Uh, so, you know, if you've been through something similar, if, if emotional um, difficulties is something that you've you've struggled with as part of your ADHD feel free to leave a comment I'd, I'd love to read about it um, I'd love to if, please share your stories uh, I read every single comment um, you can also email me but regardless um, I really appreciate you taking the time um, I think I'll be yeah, um, I don't think I had doubt that I'd be able to push through, but um, that I guess that dread is is gone. All right. Well, thanks again. Um, you know, this is. This is weird for me. I have, you know, as I make these videos, I have no idea what's helpful and what's not. But, um, you know, I'll, I'll try to. I, 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 I'll try to share stuff that is helpful. You know, I, I again, I don't know what that is, but um, I'll just throw stuff out there and see what sticks. And, and this is one such video. Oh my god. Yeah. And, and by the way, all this stuff, this being kind to myself and, and 
processing these things. This was actually a product of, of a lot of therapy. Um, 10 years ago, I would not have been able to talk about this kind of thing as efficiently as I process what I just processed as efficiently as I did. So therapy is very valuable for that, especially valuable for processing trauma. Good for good in general too, of course, but um, trauma is, is especially effective. Um, or rather therapy is especially effective for trauma. So, all right, I'll end on here. Um, thank you all. It's, it's Sunday night. Let's have a great week. Take care and I'll see you soon.